Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today we're going to watch Weon's video on how Nancy Pelosi has called for a diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Olympics of 2022. Um, we don't always agree with Nancy Pelosi, but this is the one time I think um, she has said something that we completely agree with. Yeah. Though um, I, I see in the title, and I've read a little bit in the news, that her reason behind it is mainly China's human rights violations and the genocide that's going going on in with Uyghur Muslims, um, with Tibet, with Hong Kong, with Taiwan. Am I right. missing something? <laughs> no, but that's one part of it. But I think the main part of it is COVID or people disappearing. Like... COVID. Like, COVID. I know. It's not funny. It's like, no. I I feel like this is half of it, and maybe they're just trying to be politically correct because they are getting some more evidence to back up, but like, not that enough. it came from the Wuhan lab. Because they're not letting anybody in, and when they did let somebody in, they're following their every footstep, not going where they want to right. go. Right, and now it's been so long, who knows what evidence they've burned, what people have disappeared. Right. You know, they don't let people watch, you know, YouTube, you know, Only Leon. read specific things that the Chinese right. government allows. Which, and we read some of that news, and it's very biased. Yeah. You know, it, it's nice, like being in a democracy where you can read news that comes from China. You can read Freedom news that speech. comes from the U S of different parties. You can read news that comes from Europe. You can read news that comes from India and Africa. Like mm -hmm. it's nice when you can read a bunch of different people's views and kind of come up with your own opinion of what's going on. In the um, main truth at all. Of it. Right. You so. can say like, okay, I kind of agree with this party or I kind of agree with that party. And you can kind of weed out what is like maybe some, some people trying to push a certain truth on over something else. But when you are living in China, you have only whatever the CCP tells you, you can read and or watch and or listen to. Um, you know, when we try to ban TikTok, it's like, oh God, can't do that. That's going against, you know, all these things, but they can ban Facebook, Twitter, Leon, all YouTube, kinds of YouTube, yeah. all kinds of things. And that's different because they don't follow the same rules. And I think that's the big thing. Like we really have to look at why are we pouring money into there? We've actually poured more money after COVID than we did before COVID. Right. Into China's economy. So but we can't do anything about it because that's the only choice in some of the stores. Like that's right. the only thing you can get. But we need to start doing our own businesses or right. start picking a new country to buy from. Yeah, we need places like India to make more stuff and we need companies to say like is it really about the almighty dollar or do we really care about our people? Like I think there's a huge thing in that. But I agree with this wholeheartedly. They yeah. need to. I can't imagine. So when we know the Wuhan virus, when we, when we realized it was happening, they banned all flights in and out of Wuhan except for international flights. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine when they host the Olympics, how many people from all over the world will be there? Right. I don't want to know what's going to come home with those no. people. Like, sorry, I just don't trust. China. I, no, I don't trust the CCP. I don't trust that they're going to be, you know, doing the right thing when we haven't seen them do the right thing with COVID. They haven't done the right thing with Uber Muslims. They haven't done the right thing with Tibet. They haven't done the right thing with Taiwan, Hong Kong. Like, the list goes on and on. Yeah. They don't follow the same rules as most of the world that follows democracy, that follows, you know, kind of like, okay, these are, everybody's going to kind of follow these rules. They don't do that. They follow their own rules. They make their own rules up and it's whatever is in the best of, of the CCP. Right. I'm not even going to say the people. I'm going to say the CCP. Right. Cause it's not the people and they're just creating a bad image for themselves. It's for themselves, which sucks because when Chinese people come here, then we have to look at them differently, which do, well, we don't we shouldn't. want. 
Now, no. we've seen some of the Asian Americans here that have gotten, um, you know, racial, racial slurs and beaten up. And that's right. not how it should be. They came to the U.S. to get have a better life. And so they should be treated like Americans. Unless the government finds that they're sending, you know, information back to China, which they do, what that is you let the government do the job like you right. shouldn't be spitting on people you shouldn't be hitting people because they look different or you think oh because they look like they might be chinese and some of the people weren't even chinese that got beat up you're assuming that they're at fault for this and they're not the ccp it has not let anybody in to investigate properly they have not let you know, the right information out either. And anybody that has spoken out against them has either disappeared or been, or, or died, I'm going to say. Yeah. So this is honestly, and I, and I hate for the Olympians that have been practicing for all these years to be in this, but this is really, the U S needs to make this stand and they need to not go at all. Yeah. And Canada is another one. Um, any place that has been hugely impacted by COVID, in addition to you feel very strongly about these human rights violations, which we do too. We speak out about Tibet. We've spoken out about Uyghur Muslims. We speak about Hong Kong and Taiwan being their own countries. Like you, th This is something that it's like a list that goes on and on and on. Right. So, yes. We do agree with Nancy Pelosi, but we think it just needs to be a boycott. Mm -hmm. And we hope other countries join in as well. So let's start it up and see what they have to say. U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has now called for a diplomatic boycott of the 2022 Winter Olympics to be held yeah. in Beijing, China. It's the Criticizing one China for human rights abuses, especially for. in Xinjiang, mm -hmm. where CCP authorities have reportedly kept up to a million Uyghur minorities in detention camps. Pelosi says that global leaders who plan to attend the 2022 Winter Olympics in China would lose their moral authority. U.S. lawmakers yeah. have been increasingly I mean, vocal about a Winter Olympics boycott China, or a venue right change. Like Earlier, the U.S. State Department had I, in fact viewed China's treatment of Uyghur minorities as a things. genocide. But Pelosi sports, has now yeah, told right. a bipartisan <sighs> congressional hearing that heads of states around the world should shun I mean, the games as should. if they go to Show China, they would TV lose the their moral authority. But for heads of state to go to China in light of a genocide that is ongoing while you're sitting there in your seats, really begs the question, what moral authority do you have to speak against? about human rights any place in yeah, the world. You, yeah, you you're can't speak out against human rights if you're going to sit China in China and as they um, commit genocide. watch the human rights uh, go so back. Honor yeah, the watch them. At home, let's have a diplomatic boycott if, in fact, uh, this Olympics takes place. Silence on this issue is unacceptable. If the AOC does not have nothing I mean, to address like irrefutable decades to see more and done, persistence of your human rights violations in Olympics, most countries like China, it becomes complicit. Republican Congressman Chris Smith led this hearing. He said corporate sponsors, corporate sponsors should be called to testify before the Congress and held to account. He said big business wants to make lots of money and it does not seem to matter what cruelty, even genocide, yeah. That That's the host it. Like, nation commits. Don't let a Democratic anybody congressman go. said that if games can be postponed like, for a going. pandemic, not yeah. it can be postponed for Yeah, genocide. not just politicians. Unfortunately, the if we can postpone an should Olympics go, by a year, I don't think big business pandemic, should go and make money. We can surely postpone an Olympics for a year for a genocide. This would give the IOC time to relocate to a country whose yeah. government is not committing yeah, atrocities. Yeah, even do that. Now, to those who argue Next, that the Olympics should be immune from after. politics, mm -hmm. I say that taking a in stance a place against that's genocide not committing is not genocide politics. That didn't start it is about human uh, virus that killed over Chinese three million Chinese embassy spokesperson has hit back yeah. and said that attempts made by the United States of America to interfere in China's domestic affairs over Olympics were doomed to fail. U.S. lawmakers continue to make demands for a venue change which is sure to hit China at the international stage. 
U.S. leaders yeah. have also lashed out at American corporations and called them out for their silence over the treatment of Uyghur Muslims and minorities in Xinjiang by Chinese authorities. Yeah, like... How can you US go to China in fact when this, this crap that's of going on right now? Right. Is abetting the Chinese government. In 2018, an independent United Nations panel had said that it had received credible reports that at least one million Uyghur Muslims were being held in camps in China's Xinjiang region. Chinese Communist Party authorities described these camps so how as do we know, like, vocational half our masks that they made in China that, that they're not being made by Uyghur Muslims. You know, like, that are Beijing being held in Beijing also strongly camps. rejects accusations of abuse and genocide. U.S. President Joe Biden has said that China is America's strategic competitor. He vowed to not let China surpass the United States under his watch. Proponents yeah, of well, those competing in up. Beijing Olympics say mm -hmm. that it would be unfair to punish the athletes. Critics say that Olympic boycotts in the past have failed to achieve political ends. Yeah, completely agree that we need to boycott the Winter Olympics. Not yeah. just because of the genocide, though I feel like that's a huge thing. Like, you can't say you're a politician and you believe in human rights and you are... And you're breaking them in your own country, like... Yeah. Or you're... We, you can't say, like, here that you're fighting for human rights, that you're slapping China with the genocide that they're doing to Uyghur Muslims. And, you're just and then you're going to hop on that. a plane and go to the Winter Olympics right. and cheer on... Who? Yeah. COVID? <laughs> yeah, don't come back. Yeah. Like, again, that's another point, is COVID. Like, she didn't say this, which I kind of wish they brought it into the fact that COVID originated from China. It doesn't matter if it came from the market or it came from the lab. Mm -hmm. It originated in China, and we know this for a fact. So, you're going to go to a country which COVID-19 is still around. You're going to go still. to that country that it originated, originated in to play a sport. Now, I know sports are a big thing to some people, like some of them, yeah, their is. lives. Yeah. But wait a year and do it in a different country. Yeah. I think if enough people boycott it and they can get it postponed and find a new place to host it, China needs to feel some backlash, not just on the genocide that they've been doing, not just for Uyghur Muslims, but Tibetans and Taiwan and Hong Kong. They need to feel it because of the 300,000 people, you know, that are, that are dying in India and the 500, 600,000 people that have died here in the U.S. and the 3 million people that have died around the world. They need to, like you said, whether it came from the wet market or it came from a lab, it came from their country and they let flights go outside their they country. They let it spread. So They didn't keep it in. Spread. They didn't keep it in and they didn't tell anyone about it. So right. it and somehow they, spread from China to the whole world. And people are dying left and right. Yeah. And... There needs to be some kind of accountability. And so if this is one way to slap them in the face for it, for both reasons, genocide and COVID, then I say go for it. This should be one big slap in the face. And, yeah. and I would like them to actually postpone it and put it somewhere else. Because yeah. I think if they just boycott it after reading some stuff on it, even afterwards, they're still going to go to China. Some I people are still going to go. And, yeah, if you move it, can like. stop it and move it to a different country, that would make a bigger impact. And the Olympians that have been practicing could still have, you know, their gold medal moments. Right. But, yeah, you can't yell at them for genocide and then turn around and you know, wave your flag in the Olympics. Like, right, you know, just who you're going for, yeah. yeah. So, anyways, one reason we agree with Pelosi right now. Um, but, yeah, we hope this is more than just a diplomatic, um, you know, can't boycott. boycott. I hope it's yeah. more than that. So, the U.S. needs to, like, be strong. Biden, Joe Biden, be strong. Mm -hmm. this, we need to crack down and, and get some answers. So... 
anyways, um, we'll let you know more when we know more. And hopefully yeah. we'll see you again soon. Bye.